Zdravim a vitajte. Today we're going to be going uh, to Trenčín. It's one of the eight larger cities in Slovakia. And um, right now we are at Hlavna Stanica. So we both still need to buy our tickets, but we're going to be going inside soon. And uh, something that's kind of interesting about uh, Trenčín is that it's actually is the smallest of these eight cities. So it has a population of about 55,000. So it's supposed to be kind of a smaller city, but there is a really beautiful uh, castle, uh, the uh, Trenčinsky Hrad. And so we're just gonna kind of have a day trip over there. We're gonna take the train. He'll get a bit of a train experience. Uh, and we're probably first gonna get food when we get into the city because we haven't eaten anything today. So uh, let's go ahead and get inside of the train station and buy our tickets. So, uh, how much time do we have? Oh, uh, I don't have phone with me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Probably like around 10 minutes. Okay, okay. Oh, really? Only 10 minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well. You like to play dangerously. <laughs> uh, well, it sounds like we have to buy our tickets pretty quick because we only have uh, a few minutes. And as you know, in the train station it can get busy, it can get hectic. A lot of things going on, so let's buy our ticket. You're gonna buy it through here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna buy mine through my phone. They accept card, yeah? Yeah. And they give you a physical ticket? Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe this time I will actually buy my ticket uh, here physically. I'm gonna have Adska like order it for me. Um, because usually I've just purchased the ticket on my phone and that is something that you definitely will probably want to do if you are coming here as a foreigner and don't speak the language. It's going to be very easy to buy a ticket through your phone. But today we're going to um, buy the ticket through uh, one of these like little booths. So uh, let's see what the ticket looks like. So because Atska is a student and has something called an ISIC card, she can get her uh, train ticket for free. So we're going to do the order together. So uh, I'm going to be paying basically just for my ticket, but her ticket as well, even though it's free. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice, so we got our tickets. Can I see the tickets? So if you get a physical ticket, this is what they're going to look like. Maybe that's too close, I don't know, but they just look like normal train tickets. And if you've watched my previous videos, then you'll know that this is the infamous Cafe Express in Hlavna Stanica. Be careful when you go here. So it looks like our train is leaving in less than 10 minutes and it's on platform 3, so let's go to platform 3. Is it is it this one? Alright, so we've 
found our spot. We'll see you shortly. One hour later. Okay, so now uh, we are approaching Tremendrian, so we're gonna get off from our seat and get ready to get off the train, and we're gonna get a first glimpse of the city, so let's go. So, where do we go? Think we go this way? Yes. Okay. Oh, here? Shit. Almost missed it. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, so far I'm liking this trip from the uh, platform into the station itself. You can see it kind of has like this like little roof here that lets the sunlight through. It's cool. All right, so we've made it to Trenchin. Now, uh, so far, it's really cool because right when you get off the, um, like out of the train station, you can see, I'm guessing that is the uh, Trenchinski Hrad, the Trenchin, Trenchin Castle. And it's very like cinematic, it's very cool. So uh, that's something that we're hopefully gonna be going to uh, to check out the view from later. So usually in these city travel videos, um, I go around like the downtown area first and we like check out some of the buildings and just kind of see what, you know, our first impressions of the uh, city looks like and then get food later. But this time um, we didn't really eat breakfast and kind of had like a very light uh, dinner last night so I think uh, our first objective is gonna be food we're gonna get lunch it's like what maybe 1 30 or 2 p.m. right now mm -hmm. so uh, we scoped out a restaurant in advance and figured out our order in advance so we're first gonna go there now it's not too close to where we got off of the train station it's gonna be a little ways away so we're gonna see if we can uh, find a bus or maybe we'll have to walk over there, but uh, we're gonna eat first. So if you're not interested in the eating portion of the video, then you can go to this timestamp and then that's gonna skip the restaurant experience entirely. But why would you wanna sk skip that? Like you wanna see like the traditional Slovak food. So anyways, we're gonna work on uh, getting to that restaurant now. So let's go. <laughs> So real quick, I just wanted to mention that if you're watching this video in the playlist, you're gonna see that this is uh, the third city travel uh, video, uh, with the first being Gielena and then Ternava and then now Trenčín. Trenčín is uh, the first city that I actually have not been to. So yes, uh, the, in those previous videos, I had actually already, like before I started recording videos, I had already visited uh, Gielena and Ternava, but Trenčín, this is like definitely uh, my first time. And right now we're walking to the restaurant that we're going to, but the streets, like it just, it, it definitely has like a distinct feeling here uh, compared to like Bratislava or some of the other uh, cities that I've been to in Slovakia. And um, uh, if you look on a map, uh, Trenčín is in the uh, western part of Slovakia. So it's like, we're actually very close to uh, Czech Republic. And I have been to the Czech Republic before. I've been to Prague and to Brno. And uh, in Brno, like, it kind of had a very similar vibe uh, as it does now. So just kind of talking about like the buildings, uh, I guess you could say the amount of people, but just the overall like feel of walking down the street, you know, different cities can have a different vibe or something like that. This kind of feels similar to Eastern Czech Republic and it makes sense geographically. So just wanted to share that. So this building here 
blue and brownish red. What would you think that this building is? What is your first guess? Well, Adjika, what is this building? It says hotel, but I think Arena means like some stadium. So I think it's kind of with hotel. Okay, so she said uh, maybe it's a stadium, but with a hotel, because there it says hotel, uh, but it's called Arena. So, uh, oh, maybe it's for hockey. Maybe it's yeah. like a hockey hockey arena and they have a hotel inside, so that would make sense. So for you hockey fans, uh, Slovakia is definitely into hockey. And so after about like 15 minutes or so of walking, we actually found the restaurant. So here it is. Uh, do you want to sit like outside or how? Uh-huh. Outside? All right, yeah. let's go. Okay, so we're at the restaurant. Let's take a look at the menu. All right, so I looked earlier and I'm gonna get the cordon bleu. That's just cordon bleu. And then, what else? Uh, then you have to buy the sides separately. So um, this is roasted potatoes, boiled potatoes, and American stuff like potato wedges. I'm gonna get the uh, normal varnes and zemiaki. And that's gonna be it for me, but they also have like pizza and burgers and things like that, so. That's what you want on the pasta. Mm -hmm. So we just ordered our food. We got these big beers in the meantime, so we're gonna enjoy and just wait for the food to come. <laughs> okay, so the waiter just uh, delivered <laughs> delivered our food here. He just uh, sent us our food, and I want to show you what I got. So I got um, not I was originally going to get Gordon Blue, but I got Di Prajani Brauchovi Resin. So that's like uh, it's it's like a deep fried pork, and so I got that. You can see the deep fried pork. It's very good with a little bit of lemon and. Um, Oh, I forget what that's called, but it's like the root. Uh, and then um, classic Slovak, like boiled potatoes and just a little like lettuce salad. Mm -hmm. And Atska, she got uh, the uh, classic Slovak dish. The Brinz of a Halushki. It definitely deserves its own video. But um, mm -hmm. it's essentially like a Slovak, like nochi with sheep's cheese. And uh, as you can see on here, there's like bacon and then also, um, what is that, like cilantro? Yeah, and like spices. So it's really good. Um, we're gonna sit and enjoy this and I'll show you some of the food uh, as I cut into it, so. Is it good? It's tasty? Nice. Now, I'm gonna try my food. This looks very good. Here, I might actually first get the lemon and do a little bit of this. And put that sucker to the side. So here, as you can see, that is what it looks like on the inside. And it's very good. It's very tasty. So, what you say in Slovakia before a meal, is dobro chuť. It's kind of like their bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> dobro chuť. As you can kind of notice, she doesn't like <laughs> bacon on her rinsko halushki, so she's giving it all to me right now. Also, real quick, this style of potato, like this is like super classic, like Slovak potatoes. Uh, they skin them and they boil them. And it's pretty simple, it's straightforward, but um, it's really good. Like I uh, can recall like times when, you know, like my mom makes potatoes like this too. And so I've had this like when I was a kid. So it's, it's simple, but it still is like really tasty. And it's uh, buttered too, oftentimes, so tasty. I can try. 
Oh, that's really good. The principal house cheese is always really good. So, how do you like it? It's tasty. <laughs> it's 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 tasty. I'll I'll let her finish eating. <laughs> and real quick, something that I wanted to point out about um, the uh, you know like the classic Slovak dishes, if you ever get a chance to get them, is they come with salads, but don't expect like a huge huge salad. Like here, you know, this is kind of a partially eaten plate, but um, you can see the salad. It's um. You know, they, they have a salad, it's fairly small. When you see a dish and it says like comes with a salad, don't expect like a huge salad. It's just, just like a very small side thing. Atska told me that like a lot of uh, Slo Slovaks, like they might not eat such a big salad. Like they'll just want like, you know, the meat and potatoes, literally, of a meal. So uh, just be mindful of that. Well, we finished our food and paid and got out of there. Uh, it was very, you know, classic Slovak food, uh, very good. Um, yeah, you saw what we had and a couple beers, so it was delicious. Now uh, we're just gonna go ahead and walk and we're gonna actually stop by a store uh, to get a little dessert because Atska wanted to get uh, something to eat after. I mean, just a small thing, just a little dessert. Something sweet. Yeah, something sweet. So uh, we may or may not film that part, but um, after that, we're going to be uh, trying to go to uh, the Trenčinsky Hrad, so the Tren Trenčin Castle, and uh, sh <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> okay. Um, to the uh, uh, Trenčin Castle, and we're going to show you what the view looks like, because if you look it up online, you can see that the castle it's actually is on a hillside, and you get a view of the city, and it's supposed to be very beautiful. So uh, let's go and see if we can get there. We say that Atka won't sweet, but this is the Willem. Mm -hmm. We're getting donuts. You're getting donuts, baby. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, that's all. Just a donut. You are the reason. <laughs> Shut up. Very interesting. Family cake, that's it. It's, interesting. It's poppy seed. Dun, 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 dun. With plum. Nice. Also, when you come into Slovakia, this is like the most classic uh, wafer bar. If you watch my video where we tried a bunch of Slovak snacks, then you'll see that in there. Okay, so brief side trip. We got out of the Lidl, got uh, some weird donut, a couple of uh, wafer bars, and she got some uh, chocolate biscuits. So now we are going to the Trenčinsky Hrad. Here's a map of where we are. So we're like about right there. And you can see the layout of the whole city here. Now, when we went to that restaurant, we were like somewhere off like over here. But as you can see, the uh, there is a uh, river that goes through the city. So similar to Bratislava, Bratislava has uh, uh, the Danube River going through it. And the castle is like right here. So we're very close to the castle. So we're gonna show you what the view looks like from there and Maybe go to some other place that's like kind of somewhere in the city. We've never been here before, so uh, we can see at least, you know, what the downtown area looks like. So let's go. Now we're in uh, kind of more the downtown part of Trenčín. So this is, you know, would be like their Stade Mesto. So you can see what, uh, again, like the buildings and the architecture looks like. A lot of like older buildings. And again, has like that classic like Slovak vibe or the classic European vibe to the buildings. Well here is a monument in the Stade Mesto uh, part of Trenčín. We don't know exactly what it's called uh, or what it's supposed to represent but um, I gotta say that the uh, downtown area of Trenčín so far uh, this is probably my favorite like it's just um it's very cool like there you can see these like 
uh, two walking paths that kind of split. There's like a lot of benches, a lot of places to sit down, uh, a lot of stores on, you know, the sides of the streets. And it just is like, it's really cool. There's like a lot of people walking around right now. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of like, again, cafes, places to get food, and like maybe even ice cream or something like that. But you can see the trees here. Um, they currently don't have leaves on them, but I'm sure during the summertime, they probably have much more leaves on them. But overall, um, the downtown area is like very cool. Um, I'm guessing during the summertime, there's also water in that fountain there. Um, and again, you get like this nice collection of uh, colors on the buildings. Like everything just kind of has like this cool, colorful, like almost cartoony kind of vibe to it. And then there's like a little podium here for, you know, maybe music performances or some kind of like small events here. But uh, this so far has like a really cool uh, downtown area in Trenčín. So I would say that uh, Trenčín is probably a good city to come to if you're ever gonna visit here. Because uh, I mean, this area looks really nice, but also like, you know, we're gonna be getting to the castle, which you can see very clearly from here. Um, I'll, I'll zoom in the clip a bit, but that has got to be a killer view from the castle. And it looks like the second part of the Stade Mesto area. Very cool, very cool. As you can see here, uh, this is the start of the walk up to the Trenčín Castle. So the Trenčín Castle is on a hillside. So there's gonna be these, uh, you know, long, you know, many steps to walk up to get there, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of steps to go up. <laughs> Well, that's the top of the stair climb. You can see <laughs> just how many stairs there were to go up, so. So, we are at the Trenchin Castle. We're not even up at the castle. This is just like kind of part of the way how you walk to get all the way up there. But you can already see this view behind us, which is pretty amazing. And um, I think this direction, uh, it's not exactly, but it's basically is west. And over those mountains somewhere, like, is the Czech Republic. And that is so cool how close we are to the Czech Republic right now. But um, yeah, a lot of like more classic like you can kind of see a bit of the castle off in the distance but like man this view is just pretty crazy um i really like the the rooftops of the buildings like just the kind of brown orange tinge of many of the buildings is cool and uh what is that over there is that like maybe a uh, cathedral or church or something it kind of looks like it looks like church yeah it looks like a church but yeah uh, Trenčín, it's like, it's on the way to Zielina, so there's a lot of like mountains around the city. It's definitely is like a kind of mountainous region, and the city is in somewhat of a valley. So, um, I think for now we're going to continue walking and just kind of explore around the castle a bit, so. Then, as you walk through, uh, that kind of hallway, um, in the castle, it just kind of opens up into this like thin forest that is like a hiking spot. So maybe there's going to be something up that way to see. Or yeah, there's a sign right here that says a uh, castle this way. So let's follow it. And this looks like they have little concerts here <laughs> where the Slovaks maybe sing their Slovak Kumbaya. <laughs> is there a Slovak Kumbaya? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know what I hear? <laughs> well, would you look at that? That's very cool. This almost looks like it'd be a moat around. I mean, it's not really, but 
you know, maybe someone's like trying to climb the wall and you just like kick them off or arrow them off or with the sword, like sh sh something. <laughs> Can we go in there? Wow, wow. Well. So it's closed. Yeah, we are fucked up. <laughs> we are fucked up. This is the castle. Right now it's closed. Like, as in we can't go inside there and then go through that walkway and then inside, inside. But uh, if there was enough demand for a castle video specifically, then I would definitely come out here. So we need to jump. So we need to jump, essentially, <laughs> so. Well, we are back in the Stade Mestel area and it's actually starting to rain, so I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna be out here. I mean, it's not raining, raining, but you can feel this, it's beginning to sprinkle a bit. So we're gonna keep walking around Stade Mestel <laughs> and uh, see what else we can find. Um, I was really hoping that we were gonna kind of go through more of the city, but it seems like uh, the day is gonna be kind of cut short because um, it's getting cloudier and you know the rain's gonna come. So let's just keep walking around and see what we can find. That's cool. Um, another thing that's just as a quick thought, one thing that I'm not so fond of with Europe as a whole is the fact that for public restrooms you have to pay. I think that's kind of absurd. In the States you can just use the bathroom to use the bathroom, you don't have to pay. Um, but something that's kind of neat, I mean it was only 50 cents, was they give you <laughs> this little receipt. Uh, I haven't really gotten this receipt at most other public restrooms, but this one they give you a receipt. So, kind of interesting, even though, yeah, you have to pay for the restroom. <laughs> I think we're gonna start to head back home for now. Uh, maybe this video wasn't as long as the other ones. Uh, I'm not so sure, but I think it was uh, decent. Like we went to go visit, um, well, we got food and went to a restaurant, got some more like classic Slovak food and then came to the Stare Mesto of Trenčín and then went to go visit the castle, even though the castle was kind of closed today. And uh, I can show the prices of what it costs like here on screen um, of what it, you know, the price of a ticket when it's normally is open because maybe you'll be coming uh, in the summertime or something. But honestly, of all the Stade Mestos that we've been to so far of Zilina, Ternava and here, Trenčín, I think Trenčín so far is the best. Like this is just the coolest. Um, just not just the vibe, but like because of the buildings, it, as you can see here, uh, it kind of gives everything like a cozy vibe. Like you can't really see outside of uh, the downtown area. So you just feel very much inside here. It feels like you're almost not in a building, but just doing something in here. So uh, we're gonna head home for now and get to the train station. So I just gotta say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you wanna see more videos like this, more uh, travel videos around in Slovakia or just random videos about my stay here in Slovakia, uh, definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. So I'll see you guys in the next video.